What's up guys? It is Sarah Beth and I am stoked to be doing my very first Q&A video. This is pretty darn exciting. Um, I put up a video, short and sweet, on my Facebook page mm, two weeks ago and said that, hey, I'm here. If you guys want to ask questions, I'm going to take all the stuff I'm doing on YouTube and let you guide what I chat about every week. And you guys are amazing. Really good questions. Really good questions. Like you made me think and work. <laughs> so really good job. Um, I'm going to go ahead and answer a couple in this video. Um, ones that are uh, easily answered. There are some that were great questions and I actually think they're worthy of a whole nother video. So props to you if you ask one of those questions. I'm going to make a whole other video um, on a couple of different topics which I will talk about at the end and make you come back and watch more. <laughs> See? That's what I did there. I'm going to keep you coming back. Alright, so let's get to some of the questions. Oh, very good questions. Um, okay, just to quickly preface this. Um, for pre and post workout meals, I follow um, a macro diet, which this is going to be one of those full videos that I'm going to do on different types of eating plans and how they could best work for you because I firmly believe that um, there is a plan for everybody and it's not all going to fit the same person. So basically, I can't say to all my clients, here's your plan and you're all going to follow it because you're all different. You all have different goals, different metabolisms, um, different dietary needs, so that's not going to work. Macros is basically when you consume a certain amount of carbs, fats, and proteins per day based on your body composition, your goals, um, do you want to add lean muscle mass, do you need to cut fat? So it's a very highly individualized uh, formula that you're going to calculate those numbers based off of. And I'm going to do actually a whole video on that um, after this one on how to find those numbers. So anyway, I follow a macro diet. And I reserve 25% um, of my carbohydrates pre-workout, 25% of my carbohydrates post-workout after I'm done, and then the remaining carbs I spread throughout the day. So I have a pretty heavy carb load before my workout, and usually an hour and a half works best for my body, an hour and a half before the gym. So um, I usually have my protein earlier on, around lunchtime a little bit later because I work out late afternoon, early evening. And then my pre-workout is carb heavy. So one of my favorites is of course an organic brown rice cake. I have two because they're about um, 11 carbs per rice cake. So two with two tablespoons of natural almond butter and then usually three and a half ounces of banana on top. So that's roughly about 50 carbs, roughly. Again, we're gonna talk about measuring everything. So I love that. Um, the other one you're gonna laugh at, but I think my all-time favorite is four ounces of baked sweet potato, cold. Um, and then I drizzle a tablespoon of melted almond butter on top with a tablespoon of dairy free chocolate chips. So that works really well. Um, I don't usually eat that when I'm close to a goal, like a competition or a photo shoot, but um, favorite pre-workout. Do it for the gains, guys. Do it for the gains. And then my post-workout is pretty typical. Um, we're going to talk about what you need to have after your workout. And it's always a balance of carbs, proteins, a little bit of fat, and um, carbs, proteins, and a little bit of fat. Oh, and a vegetable. I always have my vegetable post-workout, not pre-workout. So it's pretty simple, like brown rice and white fish and usually sauteed spinach or um, if I didn't have sweet potato before, I'll have sweet potato with some chicken and some kind of green. One thing I wanna note, it's not usually recommended to consume um, a large amount of fat pre-workout because of the way your body metabolizes it. Almond butter is, guys, it's not a protein source, it's actually a fat source. A lot of people are like, oh, it's peanut butter and it's protein, and yeah, there's protein in it, but it's usually viewed as a fat source, so just be careful. 
Um, I personally never have a problem eating the almond butter before my workout. It gives me energy, it helps me feel full without being super, super heavy. Um, so I don't have a problem with it, but that's something that um, we'll talk about and keep in mind. Pre and post workout foods. Nutritional timing, we're gonna talk all about in another video. <laughs> And I'm really not trying to hook you guys, it's just that there's so much information and I want to give it the time that it deserves. Basically nutritional timing is knowing what to eat, when to eat it based on um, your goals and when you work out because your body does have needs. Um, one thing about the macro diet that um, I'm not necessarily an advocate for is that you can eat whatever you want, whenever you want, if it fits in those numbers. I'm a huge believer in nutritional timing, where your body, it absolutely needs carbs and proteins immediately after your workout, um, and then again two hours after to keep those glycogen stores built back up. So we'll talk all about that in another video. Next question. great question. All right, so there's two ways I want to answer this. Um, a lot of times you're going to see people in the gym or people preparing for competition doing a workout split, it's called, where you basically divide up the muscle groups that you're going to work on different days. For instance, um, you might want to start the week off strong with uh, legs or glutes and hamstrings. And then the next day, you're gonna work your upper body so that your lower body's having a chance to rest, but you're still going to the gym the next day, but working an opposite muscle group. And then on Wednesday, maybe you'll work your calves and your quads, still letting your glutes and hamstrings rest, but working a different muscle group. So a split is basically dividing the muscle groups over um, the days of the week, giving the muscles time to rest, while still being able to go every day and working different muscle groups. But then there's the group, um, any CrossFitters out there or professional athletes or people that are training, again, for like some kind of sport, <coughs> excuse me, they work out every single day. Um, you know, you look at these, um, it's coming on football season. These guys are doing sometimes two days and they're doing full body, they're doing plyo, they're doing, um, you know, any kind of drills that they need. So they're working out every single day. You can work out um, the same muscles every day. It's not usually something that I personally recommend you do for just like the average client. Um, if you're not a pro athlete status, you may be. Um, but if you're not, I prefer a split. Anyway, if you're someone who's a CrossFitter and you're going and you're doing your daily workouts and you're gonna still hit same of the, some of the bleh, same muscle groups, it's gonna happen. But what you're gonna have to do is then compensate what you eat based on those workouts. So um, if I'm dividing up my muscle groups, I can really uh, take my nutrients and divide them accordingly. But if you're working out a lot of the same muscles day in and day out, you're gonna have to compensate by eating enough calories so that your body can recover quick enough for the next day's workout. Um, again, that's a very general answer, and um, I'd love to talk to you a little bit more one-on-one -on -one about that. Um, so again, you don't necessarily want to work out a muscle intentionally every single day or multiple days in a row. You can help it, but if you have to because of your sport or the way you train, just compensate with the calories. Make sure you're getting enough protein to build those muscles again. You're getting enough of the carbohydrates to build the muscle. Yes, you need carbs um, to help build muscle. Again, another video <laughs> to be continued, which brings me to my next question. I love the person that asked this question, but the answer is no, no. In Sarah Beth world, yes. In the real world, no, you may not. Good question though, thank you for asking. <laughs> um, reverse dieting. Um, reverse dieting, I've actually done this personally and I had really good success with it. Um, it's when you're coming off of either a competition or a show 
maybe you're entering into an off season if you play a sport, or if you've hit a plateau and you're not losing weight or you're not gaining weight or your metabolism just seems to have all of a sudden stopped and it's not working anymore. It's so frustrating. So reverse dieting basically is when you think diet, you think of going into a deficit and taking away calories, but reverse dieting is the opposite. It's when you're slowly increasing your macros, you're increasing the fats, carbs, and sometimes the protein that you're taking in and giving your body to reteach your metabolism how to work basically. So you start off with a set number of carbohydrates, fats, and proteins based on your body and goals that you need to eat. And then usually every week, if your weight either goes up a certain amount that you want it to, or stays the same, again, it depends on your goals, you get to then increase the amount of carbohydrates that you're eating per week, or you get to increase the grams of fat that you're eating per week. So it's basically slowly eating more, the smart way, um, again, not that sleep of Oreos, but you're slowly adding how much you eat to reteach your metabolism how to work. You wanna almost slowly load on the nutrient load to teach your body how to digest it and how to use the energy properly. So reverse dieting, again, is what you're gonna hear a lot of trainers, athletes, competitors do when they're coming off of a super strict season of um, dieting or restriction which is not recommended for a long-term amount. But again, certain professions, sports, competitions, it's a very short amount of time you do that. Or again, if you are just the average person who is thinking, why can't I lose this weight? Or why do I seem to not be making any progress? Reverse dieting is sometimes recommended. Reteaching your metabolism. So really good question. I definitely recommend it. Um, again, it depends on you and your goals, I had huge success with it, and I plan on doing it um, after competitions and after I hit um, a certain amount of muscle mass that I want, so definitely worth looking into. And I would love to talk more about that and um, do, again, a separate video <laughs> on that. You guys are giving me a lot of ideas. A couple of questions I got, guys, that you were really, really great with um, that I do want to take some time to address are um, how do you work out post-baby? Um, how do you get your body back to that? How long did it take, um, not only post-baby, but maybe if you are an older client, um, any accommodations you can make for your age group um, or post-menopause or middle age. So a lot of those different stage of life workouts I really want to address in separate videos because I really want to address all of your needs regardless of your age group or your goals. Um, different kinds of stretches. I had a lot of questions about stretching, um, aches and pains. How do I alleviate back pain or I've been doing the same stretches since high school. How do I switch it up? How do I know what I really need to do? Again, that's going to take time and, and also a demonstration. <laughs> so I'll be doing that for you too. Um, and then again, like I said, a lot of questions were very specific to age groups. So you can definitely look for those answers um, coming up in videos very, very soon. But my plan here is to post kind of a question roll call uh, once a week. Um, I haven't decided what day, but once a week where you can post your questions for me and then I will make a video and answer them and post it um, again, another night of the week I haven't decided yet, but it will be consistent on a consistent schedule so you know when to look for it. And again, if you have a really good question because you're being super smart and you know the good things to ask, I'll make a whole video based on that. So keep them coming guys. Let me know what you want to know. Hopefully that whet your appetite a little bit and answered some of your questions. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.